Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Fuck my pussy. <laughs> you think anyone's ever gonna complain about that? Probably. No, like, we have a we have a high female count, so we're we're. I don't think that's what they're searching for. We're the voice of. I feminists. love it when a man just pretends to be a woman getting their pussy fucked. Yeah. But um, no, we're the voice of feminists. <laughs> I wouldn't agree. I would not agree with that. Let's uh, find the. I support feminism. Let's no, not get too. anything wrong. But, but let's find the worst feminist we can find. Like she just looks at it and she's like, "Fucking men." <laughs> we'll have her on the show. Uh, we'll look into that. Yeah. But what's up, everybody? Another <laughs> episode right. of the Night Funk. How's it going? It's been a long month, and we're gonna cover what's been going on lately, as we always Shit's do at the end of the month. It's been crazy and crazy every month, man. Yeah, yeah, it really has, and things don't seem to be letting up. I don't know yeah. if uh, what we're experiencing is just the changing times and how crazy the world has gotten, or it's always been this crazy. Because when you think about it, remember at one point in time, like let's say like our parents' era. There was a lot of crazy shit going on. Like, remember, like, in the, the 70s had to deal with an uprise of serial killers. Yeah. And then the 80s had to do with a lot of fucking, like, riots and, like, social discourse. Poverty. Yeah. Yeah. The 90s went through, like, a culture shift where everybody was just okay with people dressing gay. Mm-hmm. And then no one seemed to bat an eye about that. I mean, <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, I... It, it became more mainstream. It became more mainstream yeah. to like just dress very awkwardly. I, I, some of the '90 fashion did hold up. Some of it came back, you know. Some of the 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 tight like bleached Wranglers looks uh, and shit, yeah. you know. I I can't wait until Jenko jeans come back. Jenko jeans. Hell yeah, man. I don't think those ever went away for the people who loved those back yeah, in the day. Didn't, but for like the mainstream, they need to come back. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So. To start off this episode, I pulled up this article, and then I just want to give Joe a quick question right now. So, like, how would you feel if your parents asked you as a nine-year-old, like, hey, do you want to fucking fight for some money? Fuck yeah, dude. Because <laughs> remember, we, we were struggling back then. So this was posted by the Bloody Elbow. Uh, anybody who's familiar. <laughs> I was going to make a joke. Maybe my dad wouldn't have left. <laughs> <laughs> Love you, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> no, but um, this was posted by the Bloody Elbow, which is a um, a boxing uh, MMA like article. It's not the medical uh, article, Bloody Elbow. Yeah. yeah, is there one a medical? No. Okay, <laughs> Can you imagine it's just about Bloody Elbow. But this was posted um, uh, recently. So, th- uh, child boxing match involving nine year olds being promoted in West Virginia. So on the blue corner, you have Mason. Maynard, and then on the red co- corner, you have Lan- Landon? No, you call them by their real fucking names. The Viper, Mason Maynard, and the Pitbull, <laughs> Landon Van Dyke. Uh, this is sponsored by At Chill Boxing. <laughs> uh, Chill Boxing presents yeah. Boone County Brawl. There is so much wrong with this photo right here. There's nothing wrong with this. But this is America. This is what we fucking, you know, fought wars for. Just to watch kids beat the fuck out of you. I'm going for Mason over here. He's got his hands up. He's ready to go. Dude, he looks like he's ready to, like, bop and weave and yeah, groove. Put up a picture of them in, uh, later. Yeah. Lan- yeah. Landon, I don't know. He seems like a little timid, but he's got some hands on him. Look at how big those hands now, he's are. He's a meaty kid. He's a meaty kid. But he's- he may be, um, maybe he's just a sleeper. Like, he's that kid that looks, you know, everyone tries to pick on him, but then he just fucks him up. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so, you know, uh, <laughs> it, so, it reminds me of the story that came out a while back. It's a bunch of times this has happened. Uh, child daycare centers get uh, get shut down because the uh, the daycare workers they're running child fight rings. Yeah, I saw that. Yeah, I didn't never understood like how they were even like promoting this. Like they were just, I mean, they were just like, what? Like, then again, the shit that you find on Facebook market sometimes, like you would be surprised what people try to promote on there. But no, these were like, like kids in like daycare. So they were like three or four years old and they Mm -hmm. were fucking like beating each other senseless. (laughs) This is definitely probably something that you'd probably see like as an ad on Craigslist. It's like looking for a nine year old with boxing skills, willing to perform uh, this bout will be at 68 pounds max, and both kids are nine-year-olds making their boxing debut. 
So apparently I was reading into this article a little bit and they were talking about like a lot of people like on Facebook where this was first posted were talking about like, oh, hell yeah, this is no different than fucking, you know, peewee football and shit like that. I'm like, I don't know about that. And they said as terms of like safety, these kids are so young and they're going to be wearing thick enough gloves to they're really not going to like like hurt themselves. But I'm like, you can still rattle their brains a little bit. Like even if you're wearing like. People get knocked out wearing the headgear and everything yeah. still. I mean, I've always heard that it's better for kids to do certain, like, uh, physical things at a certain age because there's so much, like, there's not a lot of power behind it, you know? Yeah. Like, two eight-year-olds or nine-year-olds practicing wrestling don't have any worries about, like, you know, uh, you know, uh, cracking any bones because they're, they're not really strong enough to, like, well, exert even, themselves like that, and that too. And when you're young, your bones are pliable. Mm-hmm. Like you're, they're a little, uh, you're a little bendy when you're young. As you get older, that's when your bones stiffen up. Yeah, it's it's really weird, but I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this. Like this is just like, is this the state of the world right now? Where we're where, where having is this to. Again? This is in uh, Madison, West Virginia. West Virginia. Yeah, there's nothing in West Virginia. Dude. Yeah. Oh yeah, I mean, let them shit. These kids want to duke it out. Let them do it. I mean, is, there, you, is there a prize? I don't know if you've ever seen people that come from West Virginia, but it's not a happy state. No, it's not. It's, like I said, there's fucking nothing there. Yeah, nothing but fucking like meth and windigos. Yeah, but like, I want to know if these kids win something. Do they win anything? I don't know. It. I. I. They win their father's respect. I think. Well, if anybody's interested, tickets are available on Boone County Brawl at ChillingBoxing.com. Bro, look, look, pull it up. Let's, how much are these tickets? Let's see. That's a really good question. Yeah, let's see how much these tickets are. Maybe uh, we should Oh, God show. damn. Not a Facebook link? Uh, yeah, follow the link. Uh, Just do it. I'm gonna get fucking, oh, I like the logo. I'm going to get fucking malware. It would be funny. What if it was a, like a baby, like a child? <laughs> they should have. Oh, my God. Let's see. When, it, when is this supposed to happen? There it is, Boone City Brawl. They got a couple things coming up. King of the Mountain State. Uh, let's see. $40? Damn, for, that's for the front row. If oh, front row, teeth. 40 and then like 30 and 25 25 is a bad for general admission. Yeah. High school rivalries match will be plentiful. Oh, bro, they're just letting the kids fucking beat the shit out of each other. Oh, dude, so they have like fucking high school kids fucking boxing Hell's too? Yeah, dude. That's fucking wild. I wonder, uh, I wonder if they have pictures of the other kites. Wait, are the little kids the title fight? I have no idea. Like but the main fight? But I'm curious if this is, like, something they've done before. Do they have videos? Like, I don't think so. I just see, like, these... I mean, these look like just normal, like, amateur boxers. Yeah. It doesn't look like... Wait, wait, that's a kid. That's a fucking kid right there. Oh, no, that's... No, that's a, a ref, yeah. yeah. That's a ref right there. That's a younger-looking guy. Okay. Yeah. I don't know, but... I wish they had uh, videos... Go to the social media. Maybe they have an Instagram. Oh, my God. We're just going to go down this fucking... Oh, no. They have a YouTube. Oh, wait. Do they? Yeah. Go back. Go back. Uh, There it is. Look at that. <laughs> do we have any cousins that are young enough to get into this? My nephews. <laughs> no. My brother's kid. Oh, they have, like, female boxing. There and... you go. They're all inclusive. Look at that. Yeah, I mean, it's just... Uh, I, I, I'm pretty sure they can't put the kids fighting on that YouTube. Maybe. I know, but it's West Virginia Promotions. Knowing them, they're probably going to pin, like, a really pale white dude with the darkest black guy they can find, and it's going to be, like, which one is the master race? And race then, wars! Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, it, they just, they, it seems like they would fucking... Yeah. Like, <laughs> what Wait. the fuck? Wait, there's another one. There's another one. What the fuck? It's the same event. Is the whole roster, the rooster, a uh, Ryder Collins? No, bro, I'm going for the rooster. Look at that stance. That kid's cut, dude. Raging Cason? Raging Cason Clark. <laughs> God, who's our, who's making their names? It's, oh, my God. Both boys are nine years old and fighting at 62 <laughs> pounds. What the fuck, dude? What what uh what weight class is that? I don't know. <laughs> it's definitely not. A, okay, there's the fucking Mason yeah. and Landon. But they just added another fight. To nice, the same dude. ticket. What's that brawl? Are all these people fighting at once? Wait, look at the poster. Are they fighting the kids? <laughs> <laughs> at the end of the day, they just throw everyone in the ring. It's like, all right, duke it out. Oh, my God. 
Uh, that guy in the middle looks like a like he's gonna like shoot up a place. But this one? No, with the hood. Not the black guy. You oh. Racist. Oh, I mean, he's staring directly at the camera. No, the he guy looked, with the hood looked, on. Looks like a mugshot. This guy just looks sleepy. <laughs> hey, I'm here to fight. It's fucking. It's fucking West Virginia, dog. They're doing all kinds of shit. They got any more fighters? They got any more? I don't know. The rest of this golden ticket. What the fuck is this bullshit? Anyways, we're we're delving yeah, too deep on yeah, this. We are. But yeah, bro, uh, I want to see this now. <laughs> Oh my god! We need to make a trip, do a interview with the kids afterwards. <laughs> you just got your ass whooped. How do you feel? I want my mom. Stop being a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> uh, apparently, they have a TikTok too. God damn! God. It, what the squared circle? They have a podcast. Oh shit! Yeah, I don't know how I'll feel about that. <laughs> Anyways, bro, no kids fighting is always funny. Like, uh, I uh, I played I played uh, play Dungeons and Dragons with a group. Because, yeah. you know, I'm an adult and I can do things. <coughs> and, uh, and there was uh, there was this group of kids, like, learning how to play Dungeons & Dragons. Mm-hmm. Uh, they had, like, a teacher guy showing them at the place. Um, and it was getting heated for them. Like, they were yelling at each other and shit. We thought they were just being annoying kids. Two of them run outside and they start slap fighting. What the fuck? Yeah, they're just, like, angry and slap fighting. And then the one girl that's there, she's like, guys, stop. And they're just, you just hear. <laughs> <laughs> Kids, yeah. like, like getting into fi- in a fight as a kid, yeah. like, I think back to it, and, like, it's funny how most of them just start from just horseplay. Because mm-hmm. I remember, like, one time getting, like, in a, like, I, I guess it was a, I get quote unquote, fight. Like, we were out on some grass, and we were just, like, fucking playing around, and some kid, like, shoved me, and I was just like, you asshole. And, you know, I turn around, I shove mm-hmm. him back, and then he shoves me in the, even harder where I'm, like, on the ground. I was like, what the fuck? Yeah, yeah, and then I get up, and I start wrestling him, you know? And the next thing you know, it's just like, you know, the wrestling gets really heated. We're mm-hmm. just, like, you know, you're, like, you're intensifying... Like your emotions, like your yeah. emotions are like reach that point of like I don't like this, I don't <laughs> like where this is going. Like he's touching my balls. <laughs> <laughs> he's a gayfer. <laughs> <laughs> Can we say that stuff? What gayfer? Yeah, I mean that's just like fucking playground insult. I know it is. Dude, playground insults are the funniest. They are. I the can't funniest. remember many. There's there's gayfer, and then there was uh, uh just, you know how funny it is like like back in the day when you called somebody a queef. Oh yeah, <laughs> it was shut up, queef. Yeah, and then um, I know the I remember um, there used to be this one guy we went to school with who was like this uh, short fatter dude, right? His name was Cody, and everyone called him Chody. Chody. And, yeah, and then uh, I know he didn't like it. He was actually a nice guy. I don't know why they were so mean to him. Well, that was one guy at our school. We um, He was a weird fucking dude. He was like, he wasn't, like, he was free game. He wasn't special needs, so he was just stupid. Um, uh, So no one really cared. <laughs> but uh, he always wore this denim jacket, mm. no matter how fucking hot it was. And yeah. everyone called him Jacket Man. And uh, then one day he showed up without the jacket because I guess he forgot it. Yeah. And then just someone in the cafeteria yells, it's jacket off, man. (laughs) (laughs) What the fuck? And this is the same guy. Uh, I guess he got fucking bored one day and just left class and his teacher didn't care. Yeah. And he was just wandering around the school and he went to the gym. And the gym in this high school that I went to, there's a lower area where like the, the basketball court and everything is. Yeah. And the bleachers are against the wall. And then there's a rail around, and then up top there's like a little like, kind of like a volleyball court kind of area, mm-hmm. and there's a water fountain, and it's a really high ceiling. Somehow he got into like I guess the janitor's closet, and there's an access to get into the ceiling, so he climbed up into the fucking ceiling. What the fuck? And this kid was like, he was high up in the fucking air. <laughs> And he was just, like, hanging out in the ceiling. He was trying to fucking do some Mission Impossible shit? I guess. I don't know. And then he gets to where the water fountain is, and people said he just fucking fell through. He stepped onto the um, the, the, the the ceiling tile. T- yeah, because they're weak as shit. Yeah. And it broke through, and he fell. And the thing that caught, his, caught him was the water fountain. He broke the water fountain off the wall. And, like, he fell to the ground, crumpled in a heap, and people were like, he's fucking dead. He stands up like nothing happened and walks away. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> like this guy was so dumb he he can't feel pain he can't die oh my god he's like a I, cockroach I, dude i remember there used to i always felt bad for these kids but like you know there were some kids who like just like I felt I, I felt like they were a little like mentally behind. Like they weren't like low enough IQ to be like in a special needs class. They but were they just were dumb. Yeah, they yeah. were just like very simple people. Because I don't like to call them dumb. I want to say simple because most of them were like you know like the the ones that are probably raised on the countryside. They're gonna grow up to be a farmer uh, kind of person. Because I remember there's used to be this one dude where like he. He looked like a fucking caveman. <laughs> That's the best way to describe. Yeah. He just had that fucking Neanderthal ass fucking head, big mm-hmm. ass head. And then he, you know, he he walked bow legged, always wore his fucking pants like almost up to his belly button, mm-hmm. and he just had massive forearms. That just like like Looking like, like fucking Popeye. Yeah, like yeah. he, you can tell like he's just been throwing bales of hay his whole fucking life, right? And then. Uh, I feel no ba- one asked him to throw those bay hey, I, I, I hate started. it. I hate to fucking do an impression, but he used to talk like death, you know, like uh, that. He's real country. Yeah, he's real. Yeah, Ooh. but he had like that really protruding jaw. You know, he's he, like a like sling blade. Yeah, yeah. And then you know, uh, ranch rat tater. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but this kid was stupid strong, like ridiculously strong. Like he yeah. could hammer a nail with his bare hands. What the fuck? Yes. <laughs> We saw him do it. We were just like, what the fuck? There goes old hammer hands. <laughs> That's why his forearms are so big. He's just like, <laughs> But fucking, uh, there was a guy in ours. He was the same way. He was just, he was just dumb. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, he, I mean, but he like, he, he passed, he graduated. He barely got by, but he did it. Um, he looked like the skin, like he was. He always wore baggy clothes, and yeah, like big pants and big boots. He's a skinny guy. Until one day, the, everyone was in the gym, and he was like, they were like they were playing basketball or something, and they're like, "All right, we're sure it's your skin, it's cool." This kid takes off his fucking shirt. Greet God, dude. Really? No fucking joke. Like he took off his shirt, cut. He had the fucking like cum guzzers uh like little things right here oh yeah the v-cut yeah he had that shit going on god damn yeah and like it was like <laughs> it was like, if it was a movie it'd be like the women look at him like oh my god look at that look at that and then his face is like hey. <laughs> 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 that reminds me of this other dude i used to go to school with uh this guy was super nice and super i forgot his name but he was like um he was a a small uh it wasn't. Sm- I wouldn't say he's small, but he was like an average height, kind of like I think he was probably like five seven, five eight. Yeah. He was this black dude had a really really tight afro. He was yeah, a really yeah, yeah. cool dude. He was obsessed with like Pokemon and Naruto, so he mm-hmm. was a mad nerd. But the thing that always caught me off guard was like he, I guess he grew up religious or something, mm. but he did not cuss ever. I never heard him say fuck shit, nothing, yeah, you know. Yeah. And then if you'd ever like. If you ever tick him off, he he'd be like buzz off, you know, buzz off. yeah, something like that, you know. And then, uh, yeah, I remember uh, one time we were like trying to hype him up for something, right? And we're just like, oh, dude, like go out there, like show him what's up. Like I, it was like some fucking sporting event thing, right? And we're like, go and fucking shit on this guy, right? And he's like, you, he's like, you're right, I gotta poop on him. And I was like, yeah, <laughs> but but the thing was, the thing was, we underestimated how fucking. Like, did he poop on him? No, uh, no, okay. no, no, no. We <laughs> underestimated how fucking, um, like into the ninja life this man was oh, really? because you know he used to always show up wearing that little, like, you know, they used to wear that Naruto like headband oh, thing, like God. around their neck, right? And then he started like also carrying like a Game Boy uh color like on his keychains with his like car keys and stuff. For some reason, that became like a thing that a bunch of like different kids started doing at my school around mm. the time. I don't know. I guess they were trying to bring like retro back or some shit. Yeah. They were trying to use it as like a Tamagotchi or some shit. And hey man, they were 10 years off. It's but one day, now. one day we had like a free day at the gym and we're, yeah. you know, me and my friends were just hanging out on the bleachers. And then, uh, they were talking about, um, wall running. And then he was like, yeah, I can do that. Like, no, the fuck you can. It's like, no, I'm serious. I can run up a wall like almost like six or seven feet up, and I can do like backflip off of it. And like, you're bullshitting. And then he's like, no, dude, like I'm pretty, I'm pretty fit. Nice. And we're like, there's no fucking way. He got down there, took off his shirt. He was fucking yoked. 
Like he, but I mean, no, he, no, he was cut. He was yeah. cut as shit. Tight ass fucking physique. We're like, oh shit. And he fucking bolts to the goddamn like. Did like, you have that moment where you're like, mm, wait, no, <laughs> no, like no, like my mindset was kind of like, is he about to just slam face first into this fucking thing? Like, is he gonna try to like, uh, and then like just like like fall down? Because yeah. I'm like, it's a fucking concrete wall. Like, how the fuck is he gonna like be able to grip? He was wearing like he was wearing like Nike Air Forces. Like he's like. <laughs> Anyways, he makes it to the wall, and he did just that. He fucking went up six feet, and he did a backflip and stuck the landing perfectly. And we're like... Did he do a ninja pose? Huh? No, he just oh, stuck okay. it, and then he walked back to his like where he was sitting and sat down. He was just like, told you. We're like... He wasn't even winded. Like I was like, God damn, this guy's a fucking assassin. Bro, his mom must hate him at the house. There's probably like scuff marks all over the damn walls. <laughs> yeah. I remember, I think he was friends with another guy that was kind of like really religious and shit. And I remember I had a class with his friend yeah, where yeah. Uh, we were like, our, like it was like the beginning of the year. And we had this assignment where we had to like get up and talk about ourselves for a quick minute, right? And then we had to list three facts about ourselves, right? So you know, we go yeah. up there and we just list three facts. He got up there and he lists. He said like, "I'm religious. Um, I care a lot about education, and I'm not sure if I can say this, but I don't like sluts." <laughs> like, but, but like nothing really prompted him to say that, right? And then what was funny about that moment is when he said that, there's that one kid who's obviously the pervert of the class in the back. Yeah. He's just like, what are you, gay? Like, <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, no. Like, he's like, I just don't like that women, like, like would do that. Like, where they would, like, get around. And, like, it just seems very wrong to me, whatever. And he was just, he was just like, shit, more for, like, more for me than, like. You know. <laughs> it's like, I love that contrast, like, uh. Yeah. Uh, that you see sometimes in people where like when they collide the interactions mm -hmm. they have right it's so fucking funny i remember one time i was in a special ed uh, in a special ed <laughs> <laughs> i knew it <laughs> <laughs> no <laughs> i belong there i'm uh, going to school now <laughs> Have you ridden on the short bus? Actually, I used to walk. I used to go to the special ed class a lot because of my brother, right? Yeah, I went because of my sister. And it was always for the same thing because my brother kept getting in trouble. He kept grabbing girls' titties. <laughs> I don't know who taught him that. But the thing was so funny is every time he grabbed a girl's tit, he'd go, chi-chi, like, like <laughs> really quickly. And then, like he didn't know that that was wrong. Yeah. And then when they, when they get onto him, he'd get mad. Like, what the fuck? I'm, what are you, all gay? Like, it's, like it's, I'm pointing out a titty. Like, yeah. look at it. So like, look at it. Like, you have to, sh like, feel it to show you. Like, look at it. Yeah. He's just like, look at it. Just fucking look at See, it. See, my brother had Down syndrome, but yeah. he's like, I think his, like, mental capacity was that of, like, a like eight or nine-year-old or mm -hmm. something like that. Uh, and he was funny as hell, but obviously he picked up things from other people or you know TV your or, dad yeah. ta taught him how to say puto yeah he's my dad taught him a lot of bad things <laughs> so whenever he would get mad he'd be like puto like yeah. it was just like <laughs> god damn it my mom was so pissed about that yeah. <laughs> she'd be like don't you like because if my mom got him in trouble for something because you know you got to discipline them even though like yeah. the, you know, the, even if they are special needs you know like you got to show them like you know, Discipline them as and like talk to them and shit, not yeah, like make, beat the fuck out of to them. To make sure that they, yeah. they 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 learn like manners and stuff yeah. like that, you know, not to be messy and shit like that. And she would get on to him about stuff, and he'd be like, "Puto," but she's like, "Don't you <laughs> fucking talk to me like that." Like, <laughs> That's and then shit, dude. and then our cousin taught him the n word. Oh God, really? <laughs> yeah, because you know he's one of those. You you know him. Yeah, like he yeah, he know. grew up in those neighborhoods so where all the Hispanic people said the N word, yeah. you know. Uh not hard R, so for anybody asking, not hard R. But I don't think it makes it better. Yeah, it doesn't really make it that yeah. much better. But still he like he got accustomed to talking that that and my brother would hear him say it a lot that he would start like he would call him though. He when he would walk through the door, he'd be like, Sup, and then hit him with the N word. But it was funny because yeah. it's like, are you about to tell like if, if 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 we're in public and a, a a black person hears my brother say it, are they gonna confront him? He's like, hey, you can't. Oh fuck. Like, yeah. Who's the asshole now? <laughs> yeah. No, but I was gonna bring up this whole thing about like I remember one time I was in like a I was in a, a sex education class. That's what it was. Yeah. And there was this one girl that was just fucking giving the teacher hell because she was just like. 
Like, are you sure you can't uh, contract an STD this way oh or, uh, or contract one this way? Like, she was, she ran down the fucking list. She was just like, what about off the toilet? She's like, unless you have an open wound, that's not possible. She's like, but what if somebody with AIDS, like, drinks your juice and then you drink right after them? Are you going to get AIDS? And it's like, no, that's not how that works at all. Like, they're... Like I mean, unless they bleed, they have an open sore in their mouth, they bleed, and it's on this thing. And yes, you have an yes, open yes, sore in your mouth. yes. And then, then the girl at one point, she's just like, I don't know. This is all scary. I don't see what the point of a, uh, of a, uh, like, I don't see the point of, like, uh, ever wanting to, like, have sex. I just think it's pointless, right? <laughs> that same dude from the other class was in that class, and he's just like, boy, I got some stories. You ever had your dick suck from the back? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what? He's like, yeah, this shit's awesome. The nose be hitting your asshole every time they go down on it. It's like, what? It's like, girl, you need to get your toes sucked, your ass licked, all that kind of shit. And this girl was traumatized. <laughs> no, we had uh, one girl. She was dumb as fucking rocks. I feel bad for her sometimes. But uh, I guess the jocks uh, tricked her uh, because the teacher was talking, they were talking about uh, like sperm and the eggs and everything like that. Yeah. And she raises her hands to ask a question, but it wasn't a question. It was more of a statement. And she's like, isn't it true that if you uh, have a uh, sperm in your mouth, it whitens your teeth. And every single one of the jockey dudes in the room started fucking cracking up laughing. Oh my God. It's because I guess her boyfriend at the time told her that, Oh no, if you swallow my cum, your teeth will get whiter. <laughs> she was fucking pissed <laughs> yeah <laughs> but i mean bro hit her with that hard like no nah, if you swallow it your teeth will get whiter no nah, no nah, it's totally true <laughs> he's getting his duck dick sucked and everything man god damn yeah. the he's playing 3d chess <laughs> <laughs> i'm on x games mode yeah all right we should move on to the next yeah, story. We're okay we're going on to the fucking yep. new york post over here so i heard about this case this case was actually pretty fucked up Okay, so a true crime YouTuber yeah, uh, yeah, was yeah. Uh, is being slammed for charging people to see autopsy photos of a murdered boy who was 11 years old. What a piece of shit. Dude. So she runs like a YouTube channel and I think also a podcast that's basically a true crime podcast, right? And people, she was talking about this one case where this child um, was murdered by uh, his mother. Stepmom, it's said it. Okay. Yeah, stepmom. Like the mother ended up like stabbing him like a yeah. bunch of times, which I'm like, poor fucking kid, right? Yeah, he looks like a sweet kid too. Yeah, and then apparently, uh, as bonus content on her Patreon, if you were subscribed to her Patreon, she released the autopsy photos. Jesus Christ! Was it, he was stabbed and shot by his uh, stepmom, and that was back in 2020. And then uh, she, uh, Patreon account, released the photos on her page, charging her followers three dollars to see them. Her wow. page. Why the fuck did they link her Patreon account right here? They did. Click yeah. It. <laughs> no, don't click it. I know, but I'm I'm like, assuming it's actually it's, it's probably closed. If it's still up, that's fucking ridiculous. You'd be surprised, dog, because uh, it, it's, uh, it's been Thank removed. God. Thank God. Okay, yeah. but yeah, but she essentially like tried to. Be like, oh, that's for like my more like hardcore fans who want to like really get in depth like a view of it. But like, yeah, but you're yeah. using you're photo. profiting off of a child's body. Yes, and yeah. then apparently the the biological father yeah. was really fucking pissed off about this for obvious reasons. I mean, she's yeah. showing photo autopsy photos of a fucking of of their of his son, and it's just like it's fucked up. So she revealed her face and. 89,000 YouTube subscribers. Yeah, yeah. Her name remains a mystery. So she still is going by Zab Girl on YouTube. Zab Girl. But, uh, yeah. Piece of shit, dude. Yeah. This this is one of the things that I fucking hate. Like, like I know when you're in content creation, most of it's focused around, you know, people trying, like, you trying to get attention on the stuff that you're putting out, right? There's always that. There's always that divide, you know, mm-hmm. like, yes, it's kind of self narcissistic in a way, but there's a limit to what is, I think, OK and what isn't OK, you know, okay. and some people like take it to fucking crazy lengths. I feel like she probably did this because she knew that it would like boost her numbers. Like, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. The, she's, I'm, getting, she's getting attention. PR. 
Yeah. Like, and good PR, bad PR, it's good PR. Yeah, because more than likely, people are going to be like, who's this piece of shit YouTuber? They click on her videos. Some of them might just end up becoming a fan. That yeah. became a big thing on YouTube at one point where every fucking YouTuber at one point was trying to beef <clears throat> with each other because oh, yeah. they would just boost their numbers over fucking night. Because if one semi-big YouTuber tries to start shit with one that's slightly bigger and they yeah. have this like back and forth, next thing you know, people are you know cross-pollinating and looking at their content. The next thing you know, they're yeah. making more fucking... That's literally fuck you, Isimo. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always iffy about saying yeah. anything like that because what if they actually did listen? Hey man, what could fucking be? Look, look <laughs> um, yeah, just start a fucking random beef with a fucking podcast we know any- nothing about. We just seen them on TikTok. Yeah, yeah. Pull up, shit. <laughs> <laughs> We'll show you how we get down here in Georgia. Let me ask you a question: If we ever like got to the numbers to where we could like uh, start be- a beef, no, like <laughs> no, do like one of those like boxing promotions. Like, what if they did like a battle of the podcasters? Oh, right? bro, that'd be fucking cool. Yeah, and then like, would you train to fight like uh, another person on the podcast? Who do you think I would fight? I don't know. It would have to be somebody in like your weight range. So it would have to be a somebody. Between like, I want to say it'd be someone between like 270 to uh, 270, 300, 300 in your current state, right? No, I'm trying to get down to 270, so that's what yeah. I'm thinking. Like in the future, you know, there we go 270 yeah. to 300 pounds. Yeah, I think for me, I would have to be fighting around like 240. You got maybe? that height though, so you're gonna get fucked, huh? <laughs> yeah, you're gonna get a uh, put up against some big old fuckers. Yeah, that's yeah. that's but that's the thing. Like, I don't think I would ever go for it. Like, I well, not. Huh? I think it'd be fun. It could be, but like at the same time, I just hate the idea of like putting myself out there to like potentially get my ass kicked, or worse, really fucking hurt somebody. I mean, that, I mean, there's refs. You fought. I mean, you. Fucking- did you ever see about that one boxing match they did between um, uh, Wings of Redemption and Boogie Two Ninety Eight Eight? No. So they 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 did like the fattest boxing match like oh ever, God. and it it was ridiculous like how they even sanctioned this because like Boogie's like a really like quiet kind of guy. Well, I wouldn't say quiet because he was barking when they were promoting this thing because obviously mm-hmm. they're trying to promote a fight. But I'm like, there is not an aggressive bone in this man's body, so I don't know why he decided to sign up for a boxing match. But he got the dog shit beat out of him. Like he he was just eating punches the whole fucking thing, the the whole fucking like match. And uh, uh, no, I was I saw the the creator ones like uh, what was it? Aaron from Game Grumps went up against uh with Harley. He's got some balls to take on a guy that fucking yeah, big. Yeah, that dude. guy was fucking like, yeah, he fucked him up. But uh, and then the other one, it was uh, what's his face from uh from all the old like Max Mofo videos and the Joji videos. Uh, <laughs> um, he does the unboxings of like random shit that people send him. Oh, you talking about uh, you talking about uh, I Dubs? Yeah. Yeah, he fought, like, Dr. Mike in the first one. He did a good fucking job. And the second one, he fought, like, Alex Wasabi, I think. Yeah, but he, um, like, he fucking trained, dude. Like, you see him in the videos when he's training, and he's, you know, like, he's getting fit, and he's working. So, yeah, this whole fucking match was just fucking weird as hell that they even, like, got this, like, together. Yeah. But, like, it, I don't know, dude, like. Like look look how look how big these motherfuckers are. And they're like, you're telling me that they're not gonna fucking gas out like almost immediately. Yeah. And then this Boogie. is Boogie right here, and yeah. he he is just not gonna fucking like survive. He, he it. looks he looks nice. Yeah, he looks nice. And yeah. I, he's been through a lot. He's like uh from my understanding, he's always dealt with like like, you know, bad like obviously like eating habits and shit yeah, but yeah. you can just tell by like, the way he's carrying his weight that's a guy who knows how to carry his weight yeah this guy is too big for the size that he's carrying he's already tired yeah yeah well they were having issues his pants were falling so they had oh. some guy had to go in there and duct tape his fucking pants together that sucks yeah and they end they have they had to stop the fight eventually because he just wasn't defending himself like and because he was too busy trying to hold up his pants and yeah shit. well yeah. here I'm, I'm done with this but yeah like stay back on point, but yeah, but but I, I don't know. Like when whenever like content creators go that far as uh, like you know being a part of like a boxing match and shit, I just feel like it's just too attention seeking. 
Or like, like wh- what's his face? Logan Paul, when he went to Japan, of course, he did the whole suicide forest thing. Yeah. Uh, but the other one that he w- that was pissing up a lot of people was uh, him going around in Japan, just, like, putting the camera in people's faces. That's very rude to do over there. Like, yeah. it's not something that everyone does. He was running around yelling, like, Yeah, while, he was like, being, like, it's... Disruptive. He was being an American. <laughs> he was being an American in Japan, and, yeah. like, because he is so focused on getting the content yeah. that he doesn't really care, like, what he does and how it could affect people around him. He should have known better to just cut that whole part out, but he yeah. was just, like, think about the like the publicity and it blew up in his face yeah like what in your fucking head said to like oh there's a like someone committed suicide yeah i should film that not just that but he has a a track record of fucking over his fans too yeah because he has been under investigation for a while for like a crypto scam he did Mm -hmm. two of them one of them he got away with and the other one they're still trying to fucking like come after him for it and then He's constantly trying to, like, I guess, like, put himself in the news somehow and basically just ignore it to where people just stop, like, I guess, like, it. he creates a controversy to push him up in numbers. And then once he's up in numbers, he basically just fucking doesn't address it until another issue happens. And then he just has this, like, ever... Mm-hmm. Like growing base of people like looking up his name, being like, "Is it has this been resolved? Has this been resolved?" Like, no, yeah. And it's just pumping his numbers more and more. Or like, um, also, I just don't understand. Like, why do people find him entertaining? Like, I don't, yeah. I don't understand. Like, y- when him and his friends had that house, yeah, and they were just like fucking trashing it, being loud as fuck in that neighborhood and everything. I don't understand the appeal. Yeah, and like, there was like his fans were like crowning the streets and shit. I was like, why? Is that a fucking fly in here? It was a little gnat. It flew in my face, too. God damn it. I don't know how the hell he got in here. Buzz, buzz. <laughs> buzz <laughs> off. <laughs> I've never been on a podcast. <laughs> I'm gay. <laughs> <laughs> buzz, buzz. But, um, no, yeah, the whole thing. Like, I know, I understand when that we're over here, like, putting ourselves out there online and saying stupid shit and everything like that. Yeah. But I would never just do something just for the views. Like the whole ECMO thing, like I'm just yelling stupid shit. Yeah, yeah. If if anything, I mean, like. Shout out. Yeah, shout out to them. Like they, they, they are, um, they are Latino. They're a Latino podcast just like us. Yeah. And I'm supportive through anybody who's like pursuing any type of like content creation and try to like you know sp- spread more awareness of Latino culture. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. we talk about it sometimes, but we try not to focus on being a Latino podcast. You yeah. know, but I mean, it bleeds in because I mean that's who we fucking are. Yeah, it's it's who we are. It's just yeah. like I just don't ever want to be categorized as a Latino podcast. Like you know, we we, we do what we do yeah. because it is what like you know we just do whatever the fuck we think is fun. Yeah, that's the whole point of this podcast is we're just trying to have fun with it. We're just trying to start a conversation, crack some jokes. You know, fucking keep it loose, keep it fun. Uh, this Stay next article off is topic. Yeah, this next yeah this <laughs> next article is fucking fun. Uh, half a million Americans may have a tick linked meat allergy. CDC says fucking vegans, dude. Yeah. yeah, they're out there putting these ticks out there in the world. I've always loved that one meme of Alex Jones holding a giant plate of meat, and he's like eating extra meat, so it doesn't matter if a vegan's a oh, vegan. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so oh, God. as many as four hundred and fifty thousand Americans may be living with alpha gal syndrome, a meat allergy that has been linked to tick bites, with many of those people going undiagnosed according to according to two new studies from the Centers of Disease Control and Prevention. I remember hearing about this a long time ago. They were yeah. talking about like basically this tick it bites you and for some reason after that you just can't consume meat. It, like you end up throwing it up. Like your body rejects it. That's weird. And I don't understand how, uh, like, how can a parasite, like, give you something like that? Well, I mean, it, it, it can just happen. Like, uh, I know, like, my wife, she can't eat uh, red meat. At all? No. It fucks her stomach up. It ruins her. So, like... Uh, like, burgers, steaks, stuff like that. Steak and pork? Well, she can eat pork now. Okay. Uh uh, it took her a while, like, when we when we started dating and stuff, she was like, oh, I'm a vegetarian. I can only eat, like, fish and chicken. Yeah. And I was like, well, we're going to go get uh, tacos de pastor, so. 
Uh, and then, uh, yeah, she, no, but no, she started eating more pork because she needed more, like, uh, protein in her diet. I feel diet. so bad about people who have dietary restrictions. I remember one time we were on a field trip, right, and there's this one guy who was trying to be, like, a vegetarian, right? Oh, and he whipped out his lunch. His lunch was literally, um, like, lettuce sandwich. I think it was, like, romaine lettuce between two slices of bread, right? That's it? No cheat? Oh, yeah, he can't. He can't uh, no, I think he was, yeah, he was vegan, so he couldn't have cheese. Oh, right? that sucks. But as he was eating it, I was just like, "What the fuck, dude?" And he's like, "He's like, I'm vegan, okay? I'm committing to this, and I am not like I'm gonna. I have to do what I. This is all I have access to at home. That bread ain't vegan. Yeah, well, that's the thing. Yeah. Like, I I didn't know about the bread, but what I noticed is like, do you have mayonnaise on that? And he's like, <laughs> he's like, yeah. He's like, it's not meat. I was like, well, it's well, mayonnaise is made from egg whites, which comes from eggs, which is yeah. technically meat. And he's just like, he got. S- he got fucking mad. Yeah. Because he was like, this is all I have. <laughs> I, I mean, was, that's on you, bud. He's like, well, just become a vegetarian, dog. Yeah. He, and then, and he was just like, but I want to be, be vegan. Like, Why? Why do you want to be vegan? Uh, social brownie points, dog. People, <sighs> like, that's the only reason anybody wanted to become one in the begin with. Actually... I remember my wife told me that she was a vegetarian in high school, and I was like, why? And she was like, honestly, because I just never really ate meat. Like, so she was just like, I guess I will try this. And then I was like, and she did it for a couple of years until eventually she was just like, eh, I'm kind of bored with this now. So she went back to eating meat, you know? Uh, But I understand, I understand in her mind, because like, she's the only one I know that will go like me and her will go to a greek restaurant i always mm-hmm. get a euro and she always gets the fucking greek salad she loves that greek salad i can't eat the greek salad dude she loves it i can't have the i guess it's the uh with the feta the, cheese the dressing and the feta cheese combo mm. right fucking through me and, the, and it's weird because like it's me my mom uh my dad and i think my brother too but like lacto- well, i mean it's just, just a lactose intolerance no man. it's it's i've eaten fe- feta cheese before but I think it's just whatever the dressing is, like the uh, Greek dressing, something in it, yeah, just ruins me. Hmm. Yeah, that's weird. But uh, like, I fucking I I could throw it down on a falafel uh, gyro though. Yeah. Fuck yeah, dude! I was like, that's vegetarian as fuck. I mean, that's I love that yeah. fucking Greek like uh, yeah. gyro like fucking sauce that they put on it. Is it the the like tabbouleh sauce or whatever it is? Yeah, yeah. Or tzatziki yeah. sauce. Tzatziki sauce. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. what it is. Oh. Forget about it. Oh, uh, but bro, when you get that lamb gyro, the gyro, mm-hmm. whatever the fuck it is, especially always, I, especially from Gold Rush. Mm. Yeah, there was that one place in Gold Rush where you just get it off the street corner. Woo! I don't think I've ever had it there. Oh, you haven't, dude? Well, you gotta try it this year. Yeah. Well, yeah. you're you're more uh, familiar with that area. Yeah. Like I, 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 I mostly stayed in this area more than anywhere. Yeah. But you know, well, no, go to Gold Rush this year, bro. Yeah. Get a shit of a gyro. Last time I was there. Uh, well, we tried Bourbon Street. That was that was dope. My wife's been wanting to go back. Yeah, Bourbon Street's a shit, bro. Yeah, I need to go back to that. You need, have you tried to uh, do Jean- not do not anybody who is a Georgia native do not go to the Bourbon Street at the Mall of Georgia. That place sucks. The that, Mall of Georgia. Yeah, that is that's just a front for Chinese cuisine. They that have was, oh at the Mall of Georgia. Yeah, is that the one that sells like the bourbon uh, chicken? Yeah, that's all they do. Oh, it, bro, I fucking love that shit, though. But they, it, 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 they sell the bourbon chicken with, like, with fried rice mm-hmm. and uh, mac and cheese, oddly. But the th- I don't know. Last time we went there, I was curious. I was just like, I'm going to try it. it. It was not good. It what? was not good. It's definitely, like, it's a it's a mall fucking, like, bro, restaurant. Bro, that fucking dog. bourbon chicken hits good, though. But man. I don't think it's the same people. I think it's uh, a different business. Oh, no, I'm thinking of the other mall, North Point. Yeah. yeah but it's not there anymore. Yeah, that sucks. But uh, God, I want some bourbon chicken, man. <laughs> have, you, have you not eaten today? No, I haven't. I got some leftover pork chops. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna start dreaming about pork fried rice, dude. For real, dude. I don't know what it is. Every time I eat like a certain meal, I don't know. I was in a weird mindset before I went to bed because I got bit by the tick. Maybe. Yeah. No, but I, I didn't reject the food that I ate. You're it's, buying it's just sometimes it. like when you have like a heavy meal dog yeah, and you yeah. go to bed you dream some weird because i was dreaming some weird shit dude you know a lot of times my dreams are just a scrambled fucking mess that i don't understand like yeah, yeah, yeah. why i'm ha- dreaming this i don't know why it wasn't even in the back of my mind but it's just it just shows up and it's just weird it's yeah. just fucking a, a jumbled up mess Bro, i've had a dream like you know you, like it's the typical like you dream you're peeing and you pee yourself or something like mm-hmm. that well, in my dream, I was like, God, I really have to go to the bathroom. And I was like, but this is weird. I, I don't remember getting here. Like, I don't know. Is this a dream? 
and I was in the bathroom in my dream, and I was about to start peeing. You know, it was like you know that sensation when like it's coming. Yeah, you're about to pee and it's about to come out. Mm-hmm. And I wake up and I'm like, oh shit, I almost pissed myself. And I go to the bathroom and I fucking just like pee for like days. Have you never pissed yourself as an adult? Yeah. Uh, when? Like, I mean, like, was it, uh, or Betty at why? Like, were you sick? Were you drunk? Or? Um, the last time it happened, I was, uh, it was, uh, no, it was when I, uh, when I was, uh, I guess when my diabetes started up. Ah. Yeah. Cause that's, uh, something that happens. You, uh, you can't, uh, hold it. Yeah. Yeah. So I was like, what the fuck? And I, I think I did it like two times in a row. I remember that happened to me like early, like I probably like a year and a half into yeah. like me and my wife's relationship when we were first dating. I fucked up my back at my job, right? Oh yeah. And I they uh, they gave me these really strong fucking muscle relaxers. And after that time, I was like, I'm done taking these ever again because one, they made me nauseous as fuck. Like I don't know yeah. how people become pill heads because this shit feels awful to me. Yeah. Like I don't like feeling that way like feeling slow and like what the fuck like you know i i hate that feeling but it numbed me the fuck out to where i could finally like lay on my back a little bit or on my side when i sl- when i would s- sleep and i woke up one morning and i just pissed myself like i just yeah. like i guess i couldn't i was so relaxed i didn't feel like i needed to pee and I, was, I just woke up fucking just covered in piss and luckily my wife was just like oh don't worry about it i mean if, whatever like she helped me like you know get the sheets off at least she was like what's up piss boy <laughs> look at you you big baby little baby boy <laughs> yeah. that would have been shitty yeah but uh what if she was really into it sometimes during sex i pee a little inside <laughs> mark my territory but no just imagine what if she was a little into it what like she, you peed all over your something she's like we need to do it now i i, I don't know how i would feel about that i wouldn't no, that's no. to me. I'm just like, Ugh, no. Some pee-pee. some things are just a little bit too much. He you know? goes in the toilet. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Not inside you. Like okay, like there's some things that you know it's it's fine. You know if you like eating uh, eating ass and shit. I mean whatever. Yeah. I don't care. Or what is Been it? there, like, done that. Like when I was younger, you know, you you go through those random porn videos and stuff, and there's always the one you pass. It's it was I remember it was this lady. She's getting fucking railed out in the ass, mm-hmm. and she's yelling at the guy, pissing my ass, pissing my ass. He pees in her butt. Oh shit! Because that's a thing, apparently. Yeah. Yeah, and then he pulls out. And she squirts out. <laughs> also, if there's any young listeners listening to this right now, I just want to get out of here. I want to clear one thing straight for you. Uh, squirting is not real. They're just pissing themselves. They're just, they're just peeing themselves. Like that's what it is. Like, look yeah. it up. They they're just they're just hitting the bean until they fucking let go of their bladder and they piss yeah. themselves. They were like, I remember I was reading, uh, it was like one of those like weird reddits where it's talking about like, Hey, ex porn stars or, or current porn stars. Um, Hey, how, how you ever done like piss play or something like that? And I was yeah, like, yeah, oh, yeah. fuck. And one guy's like, yes. And it can be gross. And some, and after a while it just becomes normal. It's like, what the fuck? And he talks about like, um, what they do is, uh, apparently before they, to prepare for it, they don't eat anything. So they're going in like on an empty stomach, uh, and they just drink a fuck ton of water, and they take like a bunch of uh, <laughs> like diuretics or something. Yeah. So they're just pissing out everything they have mm-hmm. until they're literally just pissing out water. <clears throat> so that way, like in the scene when the scene comes up and they're like having to pee in the chick's mouth or whatever. Yeah. Or if she's peeing into someone's mouth or whatever, it's basically just water. Mm. So it's just like hot water. Yeah. So that way you're not just tasting someone's asparagus ass piss. Uh, that damn. just that I, I just I just don't understand that. Yeah, I mean, uh, I remember one time one of my buddies told me a friend about his friend who um, who ran into a girl like that, where he uh, he met he hooked up with a girl at a bar randomly. Yeah. You know, they went back to her place. They ended up having sex, whatever. And then, you know, after it was all finished and everything was done, you know, he's, you know, getting dressed and shit. Yeah. And the guy was, the girl was like, I'm going to jump in the shower, but uh, can you piss on my face while I'm in the shower? And he was like, what? And he's like, yeah, I, I prefer if you do it while I'm in the tub so it doesn't make a mess. Because, I mean, I, it's just what I'm into. He's like, she's like, I'm just going to get on my knees and can you just like piss on my face? Did he? Yeah, uh, He was like. Well, fuck it. I guess I'm already here, you know. <laughs> so he 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 pissed he pissed on her face as he called his Uber. He's like on the phone. Can you shake me off real fast? I'm like, <laughs> I think I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> 
But I'm like, but shake it more than no, but, but, with but, it. But, but real, but real, but real question. Like, like let, let's say that was your interaction. You like, you're you're a single man. You hook up with a girl at a bar. You you already the deed has been done. You know. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I think it would just depend of like what I've eaten that day too. I mean, if I that affects your piss. If I'm gonna do it, I'm probably never gonna see that person again. But what if you go to the bar next time you look at her and she looks at you she's like, you want to do it again? And you're just like... I guess it really depends on how good the sex was. What, yeah. if, what if she really threw that shit back and you were just like, that'd be fun. I might have to piss on her again, but <laughs> but fuck it. Like, I, I think I'd, I'd just be some more self-conscious about like, will my pee be sneaky? Like, what was my diet for the day? Did I you eat never a lot know. of asparagus? Maybe, Did maybe, I eat a lot of garlic? But sometimes that's what they're looking for, dog. Maybe. God, yeah. I, I don't know. And then... But then if you if you go out with her again or, like, meet up with her again and you start kissing, that's going to be in your head, like, oh, my piss has been on this bitch. Yeah. Well, I mean, I've heard some stories of, like, really, like, um, really wealthy dudes in power that were really into having made shit on them. Oh, yeah, because they, uh, since they have all that control in the world, they want to feel no control. Yeah, they want to they be degraded and yeah. shit. Which is, like, yeah, fuck that, dude. Yeah, but I mean, I don't know. Like, a lot of times, we're way I, off topic. We're well, talking some, about ticks. <laughs> I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Well, we're on the subject of just like fucking yeah. anatomy and shit. We're talking about meat. <laughs> we're talking about meat. <laughs> no, yeah, the whole degrading thing. I'm just like, I don't know. Like, I guess I just you just have to be like in a certain like either comfort with yourself, comfort mm-hmm. level with yourself, or you're just at a very low point in yourself. So either you're extremely happy and comfortable with yourself that you're like, yeah, I want to feel this way. Mm-hmm. Or you're just at a point where you're like, nothing even fucking matters. Just treat me like shit. I guess that is true. Yeah. The, the truth be truth be told, I've never been the kind of guy that was into the extremely aggressive kind of shit. Because I understand some people really like that, but yeah. I don't like, especially me, like, like, because I'm, I'm a, like, I'm a... I guess like a gentle giant is the best way yeah. to put it. You Bro, know? Our family le- has learned so much about us through these podcasts. Yeah, that is true. Yeah. Sorry, Theo. I don't care. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. If, he, if he's listening, sorry about that. Yeah, he's probably praying yeah. for us. No, but w- w- what I'm saying is like I, I've just never really been into the whole like I as a big person, which I'm not that fucking big, but yeah. I'm like I'm big enough for Hispanic to know that like most people are like I'm a lot taller than them and i'm a lot bigger in size that i've always had to be careful about like my strength you know Mm -hmm. so you know the first interaction i ever had with a girl that was just like i want you to choke me i'm just like are you trying to die like i don't that's that's what happened with me man yeah so i'll crazy so i'll you know i attempted it but there but whenever they hit you with the harder harder i'm like like no i'm not doing that like i told that story on here that that shit happened to me and then the next day when i saw her at school she was like i had a really good time yeah like oh shit I remember one time, uh, 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 you know, a girl asked me to like, you know, smack her ass and shit, like uh, as we're doing the deed, right? Yeah. Oh, that's always fun, though. Yeah, but she, it wasn't enough. They want it harder. Oh yeah, then when it gets a little too far to where you're leaving like giant welts, I ended up bruising her. Yeah, that's not fun. And the, the but that's the thing, like my hand fucking hurt, and they were like perfect, and I was like, my hand fucking hurts. Yeah. that's gonna bruise up. And it did, yeah. and then I felt a certain type of way about it because I'm just like I don't like the idea of hurting people. Yeah. Like I don't. What if she turns around and be like, "Well, you know, you pissed her off later," and she's like, "He hit me, and I uh, had the bruise to prove it." Also, it also gets in my head a little bit because sometimes, like, whenever something gives up a little bit of a rapey vibe, it makes me think of like, where does where is this infatuation coming from? Yeah. And a lot of times it's father issues, and a lot of times it's abuse issues and shit, and yeah. I really don't like going down that ro- road. Well, and, and then. Just that, like you can, like you can get with a chick and she wants to do all this wild shit. Yeah. But then she turns around and cries wolf. Yeah. And then, I mean, you did it. Yeah. You can't deny you did it because it's it and happened. Yeah. I mean, me now more than ever, I know that anytime when a younger person is trying to get with a person that's way older than whether it's a male or female, whatever. Yeah. A lot of times it's some type of family resentment and they're trying to look for validation from somebody older than them. Well, not all. I mean, it works just the way you roll. Well, what's the limit? What's the limit? Yeah. Half your age plus seven. Is that what it is? Yep. 
Half your age plus seven, that's the lowest you should go. Yeah, doing that math, I'm not dating a fucking 22-year-old. Yeah. No, fuck no. No, I know. I said, like, yeah, that's crazy. Like, yeah. to think that... But it's, it's good that that sets a limit for you. Honestly, for me, I've always followed the same rule. It's, like, no younger than two years of, like, my current age. Yeah. So, like, if I... Like, right now, I'm 30. My wife is 27. because She's going to be 28. So she's in that range. She's like technically two and a half in that range, which yeah. I'm like, okay, you know, it's, it's whatever. Every chick I've ever been with is older than me. Really? Yeah. That's interesting. But like, like my wife, she's a month older than me. Yeah. But like five or six years older. And that's, that's as high as it's gone. Really? Yeah. It's odd to me to think about that. Most of uh, what's weird is my rule has always been like on the money mm-hmm. i've always dated girls that were exactly a year to two years younger than me i uh i've never dated a girl older than me i think i did date a girl that was just like the same age as me mm-hmm. it's, but it's always been the same age or like no more than two years younger than me yeah i feel like that's a good like area like any younger you're not going to be able to put up with them yeah any older uh, then like two years, like anybody. Uh, then I, you're the you're the problem. Then yeah, yeah. Because there's always a thing like you see like these younger guys getting with these older ladies that are like, you know they you know they have their place in the world. They're like mm. you know they're business women or you know they have a steady like career. Like they have their life yeah fucking figured out. Mm-hmm. Like you're just the you're just the booty call, bro. It's like that's fine. Dude, I f- you know what I fucking hate, dude? I fucking hate whenever there's those guys who are like, oh, this girl is a fucking slut. She broke my heart. It's like, bro, you had a booty call thing going. Yeah. You caught feelings, and you, that's your fucking fault, dog. Yeah. Like, and also, I, the thing that annoys me more than any fucking thing is when guys are, like, heartbroken after a breakup that didn't even last a year. Oh, yeah. Like, bro, you barely... You didn't even meet her parents, bro. Yeah. Like, yeah. whenever me and my wife started dating, uh, uh, her ex-boyfriend, who she had only dated for like six months, mm-hmm. or I, I honestly, I think it was like four or five months. It wasn't that long. Yeah. When he found out about it, he literally like became a stalker for a minute to her. Oh, like, really? Yeah. It, it got bad. It got Ooh. pretty fucking bad. You had, to, you had to put down the, you had to piss all over her to... Claim her or anything? <laughs> no. Uh, what's weird is I actually had a conversation with him because one time oh, he was really? like, one time he was calling her phone and I answered. I was like, "What's up?" And then he was just like, "You fucking asshole! You piece of shit! Whatever!" And I was just like, "Why are you mad, bro? Why are you mad?" And he started crying on the phone, and like he literally, I was just like, "Bro, it's okay. It's you can move on." And then he immediately like turned on me and started saying all kinds of shit. You know, like <laughs> he was just talking shit about me, talking shit about her, saying all this and that. Yeah. I'm just like, bro, like if you're trying to get to me, like it's not gonna work. Yeah, like you he, just end it. I won. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, technically, I did. Yeah, by a long stretch. Like yeah, you're married. <laughs> it's like we've been together for almost a decade, dog. Yeah. Like you fucking lost. Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Anyways, move, let's move on to the next story. Uh, Mitch McConnell. Oh God, that fucking turtle. Dude. Okay, so apparently he was doing like some kind of press thing, and he had a prolapsed yeah. anus, and his <laughs> asshole just started falling out of his body like a like a bunch of silly string. That's not what happened. That's what happened, dog. He was uh, bottoming the night before, fucking um. <laughs> bro, but did you see the Ted video? Ted Cruz bent his ass over and just what? Did you see the video? Yeah, he's just like. F- also, Ted Cruz bent his ass over, bro. That guy has two inches of power right there. That's about it. <laughs> Yeah, that is true. Yeah. That's not enough to prolapse an anus. Yeah. I love how Tom Segura just drops his name in that fucking special. <laughs> what? I saw the clip that he talks mm-hmm. about uh, Ted Cruz being in the neighborhood, just being fucking weird as shit. Yeah. And yeah, it was funny. But this article that was posted by MSNBC, like, they basically mm-hmm. were talking about, like, we have to have a serious conversation about how old or should we allow these fucking people to be in power. Yeah, we've, we've been having these conversations. <clears throat> like, the people have, like, what is it? Uh, what's her face? Feinstein. Feinstein. Yeah. She's like pushing ninety years old. She was out of the office, or she was out because she got really sick or something. Mm-hmm. She was gone for like a month, and then when she came back, people ask her, like, "Hey, uh, where have you been? How have you been uh, recovering?" And she looked them dead in the face and was like, "I've been working." 
I've been here. What are you talking about? What the fuck? Yeah. She, it was like, she had no idea that she was out for a month. And it's like, these people are legislating and making laws for the rest of us. That's fucking ridiculous. Like, and then Mitch McConnell's ass over here just fucking lost an, connection to the router and just he, fucking died for a second. He was he's eighty one years old. He's yeah. from fucking Kentucky. And he, you'd think that people of Kentucky would be like, maybe it's time to get somebody in the office that's a little bit younger and like probably with the times a little bit. I get it. Like it's a it's a it's a red state and shit, but like eighty one fucking years old. It's because he holds a lot of power. It, he, like it's it, he's he runs that shit for the Republican side, dude. Um, but God, dude, like it's it's just ridiculous how old they let these people be. Yeah, ninety year old Diane Feinstein. Yeah, like this old ass she, bitch. They're like people have talked about. It, I was like, because there is an age limit to become a senator. It's thirty. Yeah. Why is there an age limit to not be a senator? Like, as soon as you hit fucking, like, it should be, it should set terms. Like, every other fucking thing usually should have. Maybe do, like, you only get 10 or 8 years, 10 years, whatever. God, listen to this right here. Senator Chuck Gasly is 80. Grassley, yeah, that yeah. guy. Grassley. And then he'll be 95 at the end of his term. He's not going to fucking make it. No, he's not. And it's just like, <clears throat> it's because they just hold so much fucking power. They could stay in those positions. Not dude. just that, but like, like you feel like once you get to, what the, who the fuck is this guy? <laughs> Put a picture of him up uh, like later. <laughs> Save a screenshot before it goes away. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, it's control shift S. No, no, I got another way of doing it. What? Uh, I, I use uh, this. Yeah. Control shift S and it'll do that for you. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, I just do it this way because I like to just. <laughs> <laughs> I save that shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what Mitch Connell looks like, though. But, uh, God, dude, I don't want to be that rip when I'm old. Hope Denise never goes through my photos. The shit that I have, <laughs> the shit that I have saved on here is so fucking stupid. Uh, what do you got on there? Let's see. There you go. I see you got the Puyillo up there. You you remember this? Dude, don't pull it up. <laughs> don't pull up the butthole. All Is right, it the blanked right. out one at least? Yeah, okay. God, dude. Like, they still show his balls, though. Go back to it. Huh? Go back to it. I don't think they do. Yeah, no, well, they're it's, blurred it's out. It's blurred out. Yeah, but still. I hope this doesn't get us, like, kicked off of fucking TikTok. Nah, it shouldn't. It's only up there for like a quick second, but it's blurred out and you don't see like, this is very. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get a black eye from looking at it. Oh, dude, do you remember that? Your parents telling you don't look at the dog when it's pooping because you'll get a black eye. Yeah. Is that? It's not the, true. I don't think yeah. that's true at all. It's just so that way you don't look at the dog pooping. Yeah. Yeah. But anyways, this whole thing that's going on with uh fucking these old ass fucks in power and shit. Like yeah. they're Okay. In simplest terms, they're geezed up, and they need to get the fuck out. Yeah. You shouldn't have people who grew up in fucking Jim Crow be running the fucking show. Oh, yeah, seriously. Like, what the fuck is wrong with y'all? It's like, these people are supposed to be... Like, even the people that are in fucking, like, uh, uh, what's it called? The yeah. Supreme Court. They're, mm-hmm. legisl- they're, they're saying yay or nay on laws that don't even affect them anymore. Yeah. Like, that shouldn't be a thing. And also just the fact that like we are now have the oldest sitting president, like yeah, like look, I I don't care what fucking political party you fall in, but you know, we it's, we all it's have too our old. we have all we all have our own opinion, but you have to put an age yeah. cap on, like, and it's not being ages. There is a mental decline when you're, if I'm when I turn eighty. Oh, I'm gonna be fucking wild. I shouldn't be on the internet anymore because at that point, <laughs> I'm just gonna be, I'm just gonna fucking be off my fucking rocker. Yeah. I'm gonna say some stupid. I'm gonna walk into frame in my tidy whities. Hey. <laughs> Are we like, streaming today? Like what you see? <laughs> <laughs> but no, like Biden. Yeah, he's he's just old as shit. Like uh, when he fell because he tripped over the sandbag in the at the Air Force Base. Yeah. It's it was yeah the Republicans were like oh he fell blah 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 it's like but it is concerning because he is a fucking like eighty plus year old man falling. The same goes with fucking Donald Trump. The man is 
physically unfit. Yeah. And then also people are like, oh, but he's never had a spill. But if you look at videos of him being walked down stages, he walks like an old fucking man. Yeah, because he's a fucking old man. He has a weird body. Like yeah. he's, they, um, his posture, they're like, oh yeah, his, his body's fucked. Like the way he walks and everything. Yeah. He's like ass out, arms hanging forward. Okay, so let's say if we had to make a decision right now on like, oh, so what's the, what's the what's the minimum age you have to be to become president? Uh, I think it's thirty. It's thirty, right? Or is it thirty five? So. Thirty, thirty five, I think. All right, we're around there. Um, yeah. What should be the cap? Uh, do you think like do you think like sixty retirement age? Retirement age sixty five. Sixty five. Yep. That makes sense. That does make sense because when you think about it, Mitch McConnell should have been retired already. Twice. <laughs> but that, uh, what's it called? That grind for that money never ends. They're just trying. They're just trying to fucking ride this to the very fucking end, dog. Yeah, I don't know. All he's doing is just like padding his family. Yeah. And then like it's just like he's doing that, and he's padding other people that will keep his shit going. Yeah, but he's got so much fucking money and influence at this point. Like, yeah. why, why, why do you even bother? Like, because power corrupts. Like, he's just like, like he's I'm, at the point in his life where he's just like, I'm a villain. <laughs> but it's just like, in my perspective, I'm just like, let's say you do have a love for politics and the politics game, and you end up in politics. Yeah, and you know, being in politics is mad stressful, mad stressful. Hell's yeah. And you, but you also make damn good money doing it. At a certain point. Shouldn't you reach a cap of like how much you're willing to deal with? But that's the problem right there too. You shouldn't be making mad money in politics. That shouldn't be a thing. You shouldn't be be getting paid like hundreds of thousands of dollars just because you're in politics. Yeah. And like, and you're getting all these other like payouts from corporations and shit. That shouldn't be a thing either. Like you, you're going to look up as a net worth. Yeah, it's just a salary. That's what he makes as a senator. Yeah. So look up his net worth now. So Mitch McConnell's salary just from being a Republican senator is about $200,000. Which I'm like, yeah, I, I don't know. It's like they should pay all government workers the same. I don't feel like they should be making 200000 so it's an estimated net worth in 2018 is about three. Start on the other end. Oh, uh, 30. 34 Thir- million. 34 dollars. million. 34 million fucking dollars, dude. Yeah. Why? No senator, no person in political power should be a multimillionaire. Look right here. It's like Mitch McConnell has received over $40 million through inheritance from his family. Yeah. Uh,. Uh, this one's claiming his net worth is only ninety five million, but still, net worths of in the millions yeah. is ridiculous. You shouldn't look up our net worth. It's like three bucks. Yeah, <laughs> we ain't worth shit. No, technically four. We've made four dollars. <laughs> <laughs> but no, like it, it's it's just lobbying shouldn't be a thing. That's where all this is coming from. All these pharmaceuticals, oil companies, electronic fucking AI companies, everything now. Yeah, they're all trying to dip their hands into it, and they have. Uh, like all these people who are like, they're passing all this legislation so oil barons can go out and do whatever the fuck they want on native lands. Yeah, the whole fucking uh, uh, they approved the Appalachian, and this was Biden too. Uh, so it's both fucking sides. He they approved the pipeline going through Appalachian, mm-hmm. uh, like the Appalachian Mountains. Yeah, it's gonna completely fuck up a bunch of native land yeah like, tribal lands and they don't give a fuck because and then it, it, it's just they don't give a fuck that's the because and then the other part of it was uh there was some other tribes like earlier this month they were fighting for water rights in fucking 2023 yeah and the republicans came out and said no and it was Democrats and Republicans, too. I'm saying Republicans because they were the majority in this. They said, no, because we have a treaty from 18 fucking whatever that says, no, <sighs> we're not going to give you water. So wow. we don't have to provide you with that water source. Wow. And it's like, we're still going off of treaties that were signed by racist ass fucking 
like people back in the day that hated the Native Americans with all their hearts. Well, that's the thing that's really frustrating about America is America is supposed to be this global superpower, and yet there's still no clean water in Flint, Michigan. Yeah. And there's still people, there's more people living in poverty like than ever. Uh, We're drowning people crossing the border right now. Yeah, right now, like, uh, I love this one fucking post that somebody did where they took that clip from uh, Whitest Kids You Know, where he's like, he's like, uh, they're talking about, like, um, uh, the, assassinating the president. No, they're talking about, like, the, <laughs> uh, these aliens seem to be hostile and, um, but we believe that they're in influence from the, um, the, 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 the the assembly of wizards of, of the world or whatever, or something like that. And they're just like, the wizards? Like, what the fuck? And then one of the guys is like, we wouldn't by any chance be invading Iran today, are we? And he's like, you got me. You got me. And uh, that's funny. realistically, that's what it fucking feels like right now. The, the only reason anyone is giving these fucking UFO guys any fucking attention is because it just feels like some type of fucking distraction. It's right a now. smoke screen, dude. It's a smoke screen. Like all these TikToks coming out, people are like, ah, aliens. And they're like, it's are the, they going to pay my fucking rent? It's the fucking yellow cake shit all over. Are again. they going to, are they going to fix uh climate change? Yeah. Like, are we going to do something about that? No, that I don't give a fuck about the, aliens. We're not, the they just don't want to, they just don't want to bring up anything about the fucking student debt relief. They don't want to bring up anything about the housing crisis. Oh, right the now. student debt relief thing's gone. Yeah, I know. And then, uh, like, the, and then on top of that, like, dude, interest rates were going back up. Interest rates are fucking high as shit now. No, they froze them, but now they're going back up because yeah. it's good for the economy. It's good for the economy. We don't have money. Yeah. So how is it good for anything? And then uh, I was listening to one. It was an economist talking. He was saying, uh, like, it's 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 good that we're raising them, but it's also bad. But if we don't raise them, that's also bad because if we don't raise them, then it like it creates like a bubble and then that's gonna burst and whatever, blah blah blah. Yeah. But if we raise it, then it's good because uh oh no, he said we're if we lower them, company companies wouldn't be able to pay their stockholders more. So people will be pulling out of their companies, so that would cause the companies to lose money, so they would fire people, so less people will be working. So no one will be able to afford anything. So they're protecting the companies on that side. And on the other end was, well, if we raise it too high, then people are still working. And, you know, yeah, the market's going to boom a little bit, but yeah. everything's expensive again and nobody can afford anything. So, yeah, yeah, they got us by the balls. I saw this new thing uh, recently where people were talking about, like, uh, America has reached a new level of tipping fatigue. Have you seen this? No, I haven't. So they were just talking about, like, basically every fucking business now is moving over to those tablets that you spin around, and it always asks if you want to tip, even though you weren't served anything. Oh, yeah. Like, that's gotten really fucking annoying. Yeah. It's gotten really fucking annoying because it's like, why am I... If I called up a restaurant... To go pick up some food. Mm -hmm. Why the fuck do I need to give you a tip? Yeah. Nobody, nobody brought, nobody like weighed the food. Mm -hmm. Nobody brought me drinks. Like, what? Like, that's stupid. The only thing I would say with that is like, is the tip going directly to the cook? Like, well, if, that, it's go, if, it, if the tip, if I go to pick up my food and if it asks me for a tip, is the tip going directly to the kitchen staff? Then, okay, I'll tip a little bit. That way they get something. Yeah, but here, here's but if the, it's not, fuck you. So from my understanding is apparently a lot of restaurants are taking these excess mm -hmm. tips and using it just to pay the workers, not giving them more on top of yeah. their pay, just paying their hourly rate. That's why um, uh, more more and more places are uh, like Chili's, Applebee's, and all that stuff. They Chili's got caught doing that shit. Um, pay, leave tip in cash. Yeah, don't add it to your bill. And it sucks because I always forget to have money on me. Like, I always used to use my card. Yeah, I never carry cash on me. But you know why? Because I've been robbed before. Oh, really? Yeah. One time, like, when I was working at this, uh, this like, one of my, f like, first jobs, right? Mm -hmm. uh, we always got paid on Thursdays, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And every Thursday, everybody would go to um, this gas station up the road and cast their checks there, yeah. you know? Because it's just quicker. You only get charged, like, three bucks. So it's, yeah. like, it's kind of worth it, whatever. So I had... I had went and cashed my check. I walked through the building and I guess my wallet just fell out of my pocket mm -hmm. and I fucking freaked out when I realized it was missing. I went to go look for it 
and then somebody uh, who I trusted was just like, oh, uh, is this your wallet, dude? I just found it over there by the entrance. I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I looked in it. All my money was gone. And I knew it wouldn't have been the guy who handed me the wallet mm-hmm. because, like, yeah, he definitely isn't that type of person. Cause he <laughs> but saw, he turned around and was like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I always made that joke, too. He's like, you yeah. motherfucker, you probably use that shit to buy fucking kawamas and shit. Hell yeah. Yeah, but. I mean, no, no, I didn't. <laughs> no. no, but, like, uh, here's one thing I wanted to bring up. How do you feel about the whole oh. um, case that they're doing over there with the new uh, Casa Bonita thing? Like the creators of South Park brought back the old Casa Bonita restaurant. They yeah, remodeled it, did it, but they uh, they made it to where none of the servers are allowed to get tips. Well, they they did it, for, but they're getting an hourly rate of thirty dollars. Yeah. Um, How do you feel about that? I don't know because it just depends. Because a lot of people I saw comments of people being like, "That's outrageous." As a as a waiter in New York, I make this much amount. It's a lot of money. But it's because they work at a high end restaurant where a bunch of like businessmen go and just throw a fucking fliff down, you know? Yeah. But if you work in like rural, like fucking Georgia, yeah. You work at some random ass little diner, same three guys come in every week and they leave you like a $2 tip on a 30 buck order. 30 bucks an hour ain't bad. Yeah. But I guess it would just have to come down to... Those people are making more fucking money than me. Yeah. But, I mean, it, it, it would just have to come down to how many hours are they working, um, how much comes out after taxes. Yeah. For, like, if they have a health insurance and everything like that. Because that takes a chunk, too. Yeah. Um, And compare it to other restaurants of equal size and capacity. Yeah. So, like, another restaurant that's similar to it, how much do their workers make if they... They're not getting salary. How much do they make in tips and mm-hmm. their wage? Compare it there. Yeah, that's how I would do it. And, and for if con- they end up, if they end up making, like I feel at thirty bucks an hour, they're going to make way more than that other person yeah. working at a regular place. But compare it, see how it works out. If this person ends up making more and making tips, then Matt Stone and Trey Parker need to look at it again. Yeah, yeah. Well, apparently they did a census thing. Like they they asked what they would prefer, and they voted on thirty dollars an hour. Some other fucker people complaining because then. other people just want to voice their opinions on it. Because once they heard the news, they're like, "Why well, they're not allowing tipping?" Then they just fucking go off the deep end. But this is what God. they decided on. I'm sure a lot of people working that restaurant are happy as fuck that they're yeah, making thirty dollars bucks an hour for waiting. But here's just a good example of how fuck things are right now. Yeah. They they did a thing where they where they basically checked like the state of the economy. Uh, the level of inflation we're at, mm-hmm. and they said, "What would, how much would a person need to make per hour to live comfortably in America?" A and lot. that number was thirty four dollars an hour. Yeah, you would have to. It was like I think it works up to like eighty five k a year. Uh, yeah, eighty. I think it's like eighty five to ninety. Yeah. yeah. So that's how much you need to live a regular life in the U.S. Now. Yeah, that's fucking ridiculous, dude. They used to be the middle class, dog. What? It used to be like the fucking middle class. Yeah, now that's low class. Yeah. Yeah, that's making it. Yeah. Basically like barely. Basically like being poor in the working class mm-hmm. have like been is now in one group. Cuz they're trying to keep us down. Oh, the good thing about that talking about working class, uh fucking UPS and the Teamsters. Oh, I saw that. Yeah, they fucking stuck to their guns, dude, and they got what they wanted. In like 45. Yeah, 45 an hour for full-time, 30 bucks an hour for part-time. I wish more. I had it in me to work there, but I can't, I can't do and that. And they're going to put air conditioning in the in the trucks now. I mean, that is cool, but at the same time, dog, there there that that is a fucking grind. Like all day delivering packages from sunup to sundown. It wasn't too bad. It depends on where you live. I guess that is true. Yeah. But then the other company. I wouldn't uh, want to do that shit in Atlanta. What was it? Fuck that, dude. Uh, bro, the company that I worked for, that uh, that uniform company. Yeah. In Atlanta, the uh, so many trucks got stolen. <laughs> <laughs> Why are they stealing fucking trucks? Because you just sell it for fucking parts, dude. Work trucks. Yeah, it's God the damn. it's those big old like delivery trucks. Just ripping up the catalytic converters and shit. Yeah, you, I mean you're selling it for parts. You're selling the it, the whole. It's a fucking metal box. Scrap that bitch, dude. Have you seen that fucking thing where this guy, um, he uh, he was talking about, like, um, I forgot what part of Texas he lives in, but his truck has been broken in, like, eight times in a year. And he put the flashbang in He put it? a flashbang in it. He, he rigged it, and then you see him running out in his underwear with a yeah. bass. Like, <laughs> like, Good on him. 
Fuck yeah. But yeah, but no, uh, what is it? That one uh that one company out of like I think it's like in New York in the big old like area up there. It's like, it's like yellow truck or some shit like that. Mm, Yellowstone. Or something. I don't know. Um they uh I think they just like shut uh they just fired everyone. What? Because what they did is they they took everyone's pensions away. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah! I saw that. Yeah. I saw that. There's and then that they video. Just closed of, everything down. There's that video of that black dude who's mad as yeah, fuck. Yeah, I'd be fucking mad as shit too, dude. Because he, he had been working there for thirty fucking years, mm-hmm. and they took away his pension. Like, you, and he was sixty five years old. Yeah, he was at retirement. That's fucking insane. Yeah. I do love the picture. There's uh, this one company fired all their truck workers or their truck drivers. So one truck driver took it upon himself to drive his rig. On top of the owner's Ferrari. And he just parked it on top and left. Damn. Yeah. That's badass. But I'm like, fuck yeah, dude. But no, yeah, they fucking let everyone go. Yeah, dude. It's crazy how quick corporations are willing to just, like, not pay their mm-hmm. workers. And as soon as they hear any kind of buzz about fucking un- unions, like, yeah. they lose their shit. That's been going on lately with Amazon. Some Amazon facilities have been able to unionize, but yeah. that hasn't been the case for all of them. Some of them have fell under. Mm-hmm. Well, some it's of them because it's crazy because some of them fall into that. I, it's it's either they're pressured into voting no on unionizing, or they just don't understand the union. Yeah, and they'll vote against starting a union, so the union doesn't start in that Amazon center. Yeah, yeah, and it's happened a lot. But then the ones that have unionized, they're still getting shit on. Yeah. Like the the video that I saw is the they were doing like a whole announcement in the beginning and one guy piped up. There's people here that don't understand English. Are you gonna provide a translator? Because that's in our rules that you have to. Yeah. And they were trying to tell him to shut the fuck up. Yeah. And then he went up there, was like, You're not gonna tell me to be quiet because I can't you these people do not understand what you're trying to say. And then it started playing playing music over what he was trying to say. Yeah. Yeah. It was like, bro, like really? Fucking Amazon, uh, and the UPS thing again. Yeah, I think it cost them like four billion to be able to pay everyone that much and everything. Yeah, it's but the thing they're okay. The thing that fucking irritates me is like Amazon's profit margins are so fucking high. They yep. could afford. They can afford to pay their workers really good fucking wages. Yeah. But for whatever reason, for like the sake of trying to maximize mm-hmm. profits to their fucking investors, they're willing to try to lower that bar as low as possible because yep. they know people are always going to need work. But Have you like, ever been in one of those centers? No. Bro, I've delivered a few of them. It's just like, it's all about, like, as soon as you walk, when you walk in, you have to have a pass, of course, for safety. You key card yourself in, you close the door, and they have little lockers there, and they're all like little cubicle lockers. You put your stuff in there, you lock it, and then you go clock in. And then they have a little cafeteria area where you buy your food and everything. So that part's nice. But then they monitor your bathroom breaks, they monitor your lunch breaks, they make sure, they go around telling people, hey, your lunch break's over, you need to go back. Mm-hmm. Hey, you, uh, you uh, what are you doing? Are you taking a bathroom break? All right, hurry up, you need to get back to work. They dock you and shit. Yeah. And then when you go in, they just have all this fucking propaganda on the walls being like Amazon is your family. Yeah. And like Amazon is your life. And like uh, uh, a good worker is someone who never misses a day. It's shit like that. It's very dystopian. Yeah. It's like they and they close you off to everything. It's like the fucking um, what's it called? The obey thing. Mm -hmm. Like obey your masters. Obey your Amazon masters. It's fucking crazy. Like that we're at that fucking point. And then like. What was it, two or last year or two years ago? Tell your friends about the prime deals available. On what Monday. was that? Um, there was a candle factory in Florida. Uh, uh, it was like last year when the hurricane happened. Uh, they opened their doors to their employees to like go in with their families and everything. But then they're like, oh, if you're coming in here, you can go ahead and start working. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah. You fucking assholes. Yeah. So they like told their employees, if you're here, you're going to work. Your kids have to work too. The pretty much, dude. It's God. just like what the fuck, dude. Like we seen a baby on the line. Like, yeah. <laughs> but no, it was like it was like what office workers fuck? and like packagers and people shit like that. People have no fucking chill, dog. Yeah, it's fucking yeah. ridiculous. And then when they got called out by the media and shit, they came out and be like, "What's the fucking problem? They were already here." It's like, dude, 
what the like how how do you think this isn't a problem yeah it's fucking crazy dude world's going to shit aliens don't matter yeah yeah the best you can do is find a woman that'll let you pee on her yeah just pee on her just pee on her all right let's end this shit (laughs) (laughs) we'll end it on pee all right well fucking it's been a long month there's a lot of shit in the news Maybe we'll care, care about aliens next week. But, guys, let's not get disparaged. There's yeah. still some good shit in life, and there, life is worth living always. And um, when times are tough, just remember, uh, you got the knife on here available every Friday on Spotify and <laughs> Apple Podcast. <laughs> but anyways, um, thanks again for listening. Make sure to yeah. give us a follow at the Knife on Podcast on all the platforms um, except for Facebook. We don't fuck with that gay shit. And then uh, you can... Uh, <laughs> Um, it's called Meta now. Uh, yeah. Meta? Nah, I don't know. Really? Anyways, continue. <laughs> Anyways. But yeah, you can find us at the Knife on Podcast on Instagram and TikTok. Give us a follow. Give us a like. Watch our clips. Tell us yeah. what you think. Get in the comment section. We really love when people blow up the comments. Yeah. The We're- same with on Spotify. You can leave us a, uh, a, a review, a comment, something. Give us a little bit of uh, your opinions. What do you think? What can we change up? How can we make it better? What would you like to see in future episodes? Tell us what's got you in a night funk. Yeah. Hit up the Discord, baby. Do it. Drop your handle. What? Drop your Instagram. Oh, yeah. Fuck, yeah. If you can, <laughs> you can, if you want to look for my personal for whatever reason, you can find me at Handful of Pedro on Instagram. And I'm also in the woods. Yeah. So give us a follow. And, uh, yeah, as always, new Friday, new episodes every Friday. So uh, Except this week. <laughs> yeah. What? Except for this week? Yeah. Oh yeah, today is Friday. God. Yeah, today's Friday. Oh god, this is, this has to be posted now. I had the poops yesterday, I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> god damn, what did you eat? Shrimp, I told you. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, bye. <laughs> uh later everybody. Uh, everyone have a good one. Had to stretch real quick, but yeah. See y'all. Stupid. <laughs> <laughs>